Hi there, it's Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com here with one more brew with Rally of the Ancestors. The card is just insane the more and more I think about it as there's so many win conditions if you just resolve the Rally of the Ancestors then you just flat out win the game. Now I'm even thinking about trying to brew it in Legacy and Modern and Modern it seems quite fun with one drops such as Vexing Devil and even cards like there you could go like Beck Call or Fissunity anything that has any sort of enter the battlefield type abilities. Beck Call is especially kind of cool in the a Legacy deck and a Cheerios deck that I used to play where all the creatures come into play you draw a card and then they'd immediately die and then you have cards like Fissunity and then Rally Ancestors would bring them all back to draw an insane amount of cards again and then you can use any sort of uh, card like Blood Artist is your win condition whenever a creature goes to the battlefield it deals one damage you gain one life and then you can just keep cycling through a bunch of stuff because I, I have a deck that uses one of the cards I really want printed in modern is Blood Pet we have Wild Cantor right now I'll show you these cards I'll pull them up here there's Wild Cantor that we have in modern which is which is pretty fun let's switch this over to modern here and it has the ability to sacrifice wild canter add one to your mana pool of any color to your man, or of any color to your mana pool so you get this guy out and then use a, a card like fasundity to whenever creature dies that creature's control and may draw a card there's actually the there's a black version of this as well but then if you go into legacy there's other cards like blood pet and i think there's a red one yeah there's a, a skirk prospector I believe is the card. This is Sacrifice a Goblin at, at Red, your mana pool. So this little combination, you can just, they're basically free spells. You sacrifice this out of black, sacrifice this to add any color, sacrifice this to add a red. And you can basically, with, you need enablers. I've used Immortal Servitude in the past. I've used, uh, but this is, this card is one less than Immortal Servitude, Rally the Ancestors. But so anyway, what I'm trying to show you is there's some pretty cool ideas that I'm going to try to brew with in Modern or Legacy. I'd, I I so wish either Blood Pet or Skirt Prospector was in, in Modern because then I'd be able to build a Beck Call and Fasundity deck. I'll show you. The, the Beck Call says whenever a creature enters the battlefield, uh, you may draw a card. And so it's a way you could just go through your entire deck and then use an enabler like the... There's no rest for the weary, or no rest for the wicked, I believe is called, that says return all creatures to your hand. Sacrifice wicked, return all, cre all creature cards in the graveyard that were put there from the battlefield this turn. So there's that, and there's, there's a few other cards um, that returns all creatures that were... Um, died this turn back to their hand or the battlefield so anyway that's a, the deck that I'm trying to work on so it's getting closer and closer each set we're getting a lot of new tools but it's just it's just missing one or two pieces to really put it over the edge and I think it's any sort of 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 cantrip type cards like the well not really cantrip I guess you'd call them they just replace their mana cost uh, again in, in legacy you also have tinder wall which is fun because it can sacrifice to add red and again, you just have to have you have glimpse of the unthinkable. The only thing with this deck is the 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 glimpse or glimpse of nature, excuse me. Glimpse does not work. It says whenever you cast a creature spell. So it'd work with no rest for the wicked, but it wouldn't work with Rally Ancestors. So anyway, this is the deck I'm trying to build. Hopefully we can have a a few more cards being printed in modern than I think it will be. It, it goes off on turn one, but not very consistently. It's like a 30% chance, and it just folds to a force of will. But anyway, I'm I, I love cards like this, kind of the combo West cards that, that have... You don't really need Rally Ancestors to to be in a, a, a necessarily combo deck. It just needs to be in a synergy deck. In this one before you though, I, I've kind of I've I've gone back to my original idea with the Grey Merchant of Asphodel and the Siege Rhino. So you do need to generate seven mana, and once you're up to the seven mana sweet spot, then you can return all your Grey Merchants, all of your Siege Rhinos, and all of your Mogus Mogus Marauders. And twelve creatures should be enough if you just rifle through your deck with Commune with Gods. So I have ten slots left in this deck. Probably one of the cards. I'm thinking about using is the Tassagur the Golden Fang because that can kind of guarantee that if you put your deck, if you put your uh, Rally Ancestors in your in your graveyard through 
the commune with Nate commune with the gods, then you can delve away all the non-land permanents except for the Rally of the Ancestors, and then you can force your opponent to get it back. Or if 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 it's just like siege rhinos in your graveyard, then you can force your opponent to give you back siege rhinos and gray merchants, which is extremely powerful. So Tassigur can come out very quickly. He can come out as as soon as turn three with a king with the gods a four or five is not too shabby on turn three that is going to be able to block a siege rhino it's going to be able to put pressure on your opponent and again the, the four mana on turn four you have an activation immediately and you can start getting back cards you can even get back cards like read the bones um you sign in blood i thought of being in here as well and you could even go dark deal as another card in this i don't quite like dark deal in this deck without waste not but i even thought about putting waste not in the deck with commune with the gods so commune with the gods could go get either waste not or whip of erebos or something so whips just in here for complete value you can whip back any of these siege rhinos grain merchants etc 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 so there might be some other enter the battlefield effects from white black or the green that i'm not quite thinking of if you have any ideas please shoot me a text or a, a comment on the video below so anywho that that's the whole idea of this i'm thinking that the last 10 slots for them are going to go of course to rally the ancestors i think one one or two at least will go to tasagur so it's going to leave you four slots four kind of flex slots that could either be cards like soren or you could even use any sort of other removal like hero's downfall or utter end just something to help stable oh and hostilities for sure either in hostilities or crux of fate would definitely go in here to to wipe your opponent's boards you could even go bile blights drown and sorrows things like that because you, you don't really need to um or just another mill card self mill card i, I was thinking of actually just even uh, going blue you're already in three colors you could just easily splash into the blue for the sadisi and Sidisi puts a ton of cards in your graveyard. And Sidisi with Mogus Marauder is pretty powerful as well. You're going to get value out of everything with the Rally of the Ancestors. So anyway, this is this this is brew number three. I'm going to try to brew Rally of the Ancestors in Modern. I'm going to go to the other cards too it, that I picked out of my, my top ten brew cards. But these are definitely the two that are fascinating me the most is Dark Deal and Rally of the Ancestors. And so uh, we have a number of brews with each of those. I, mean, I can't wait for this to be legal on MTGO. I might not be able to wait. I might just have to start brewing some paper magic and, and show you some play tests with the paper magic. Well, we're going to try to bring back this Sunday brew session. I am still extremely busy with, with swim team. Um, I'm coaching that until February. I'm the high school swim team coach for the boys and we have a region and state meet coming up s soon. So I'm going to be extremely busy trying to prepare my swimmers for that. And then eventually when that is done in February, I'm going to focus full time on rogue deck builder. I'm going to put all all, all out into Rogue Deck Builder. I got some people helping me. We're going to do some live games. We've got the studio almost complete. And you're going to see some amazing Kevin Rogue Deck Builder brews like the good old days. I know I've been silent for quite a while. I've just, you know, it, sometimes you need a, a long break from Magic the Gathering before you're you're back into it. But this set, by far, I haven't been excited about a set since I would say, like, probably gate crash gate crash with when immortal servitude was spoiled i haven't been this excited i think that there is just so many flavorful brew cards in the fate reforged set it's just all over the place with with the the just after the pre-release i was able to find just a lot of combinations just within the pre-release that, that were very very intriguing so anywho i know this deck isn't very different from a lot of the cdc whip decks or abs and whip decks but i still think it's it's different enough to really spark some interest or at least that that rally the ancestors is just an amazing card whoever doesn't say so just wait until you see the power of this again seven mana is a, is, is a bit high but i think between siege rhinos and green merchants you'll easily be able to stabilize up to the rally the ancestors anyway this has been kevin with roguedeckbuilder.com thanks for watching